morning, Args. You decided to come back for day two? Yep, I've uh, come back for some more punishment, or hopefully some pleasure this time. Well, let's hope we get the opposite this time. Uh, I think all the kit's fixed and working now, so we're, we should have a faultless, seamless segue into episode two. Well, that'll be good. I don't think much more could go wrong anyhow, so looking forward to getting into it. Yep, so we're going to head back up to field two that we limed last week, and um, we're going to have a look at the big field, circular field 12 as well, are we? I think that sounds like a plan. Get some lime on one of them and anhydrous on the other, and we might even get uh, 12, I think, planted. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. All right. You want to take the uh, the lime spreader this time? Just watch the brakes on it. Yeah, mate. I'll uh, be keen to give that a go. I know it works. So. <laughs> right, let's get going. Right, see you there. Okay, so we are on anhydrous duty today. So we're going to fire up the vent. I'm going to get it over to field two, which, if you remember, is the one that uh, I had uh, limed last week. It's the first field I limed last week, which was the one where we found all the problems with the anhydrous kit. So um, at least we know, well, we hope that's fixed, because um, we uh, we had a look at it after the um, episode last week. Let's just get hooked up here without uh, unloading our weight at the front. We have a full tank of anhydrous. We're using the forward ag tank again. Uh, they sent us an updated one this week with a few more upgrades to it. So we'll give it a go. We've also got the wide BB toolbar. This is just far too big to fit along these roads, but there's not much traffic. So we'll just have to be mindful if something comes the other way. There's arcs ahead in the, uh, in the lime spreader. It'll be his first time getting used to the brakes on it, so it'll be fun. But uh, we'll head along to the field. Now, you can see Arg's over there in field 12, the round field. He's just coming towards us now, um, putting lime down. That's field 12 here. Now, he's going to use his lime pretty quick, so I'm going to make sure I help him out. And uh, I'm going to go and fill him up with uh, the hopper. So he's got... Um, refills on the field for him so he doesn't have to worry about uh, driving all the way back to the farm farm some guy to Args. yeah go ahead I'm just uh, filling up the uh, hopper here mate with lime so don't come out of the field I'll bring it to you oh you're a gentleman I was just watching our money going down wondering what you were doing thank you very much all good buddy okay it has taken a little while for this to fill up it's not the fastest filling in the world but we're nearly there, 95%. We might as well fill it up now we've got to this point. Uh, and hopefully Args hasn't run out yet. This did take a little bit longer than I thought, but um, let's run this over to him in the field. $10,000 worth of lime in here. A hundred, Nearly 120 tonnes of lime in this trailer. So that should keep him going for a little while. I very much doubt he's going to need uh, more than this for that field, and if he does... It's going to be quite expensive. There we go. Here's the gate. That is a long drive round. That is a long drive round. I think Argsy went through the farm, actually. He could probably get through the farm that way. Because this gate's still shut. And he wouldn't have re-shut it. He would have left it open, so... Let's get that open. There we go. And we're just going to work out where the best point is to drop this off. I think I'm going to drive around and drop it at the top, though. There is. Have we timed this perfectly? Ah, uh, Xidif is G. Go ahead, mate. Looks like you went the long way to get into the field. Yeah, I didn't know whether I should go through the farm or not. I didn't know if I could get through. I'm still getting used to this new farm. Yeah. Okay, you can come and buy the feed mix at the end. There's a little path down the side of the southern pond here, so... Oh well, I know for next time. Future reference, indeed. Thank you very much for the delivery. Much appreciated. Looks like the timing was perfect. Just about impeccable. Right, there's Args getting filled. Like I said, looked like our timing was impeccable. We'll head over and uh, fire up the anhydrous rig, finally. Okay, toolbar is turned on. Let's pull up our mini-map in the corner here. And we are green. Oh, that's a relief. 
That is a relief. I love these uh, ground textures, actually, because what we're doing here is we're injecting this into the ground. We're not cultivating, and it's leaving the field as such, which is really nice. Okay. After last week's challenges, it feels like Christmas doing this. Um, now, how am I going to do this where I'm going to get around that little piece at the end? Let's run up a headland here. Let's run up a middle of the field, actually. We'll set up the uh, GPS. So that's working. And then we'll, uh, we'll worry about the edges at the end. Okay, that's almost first lap of the field done. We're just going to have to work out how we do these headlands. Make sure that uh, this is quite a big machine, so it's very difficult to actually make a turn with this without missing huge chunks of the field. Now, what I can do, there is a little ditch here. But if I stop here, just reverse up before the tanker concertinas, I should be able to do a little loop now. So what I can do is just loop it round, give myself a nice big turning circle. Hopefully not batter the machine too much. Loop it round and line myself up. I want to get a couple of headlands in and then we can start really pushing the up and down rows. So let's get this lined up as good as we can. A little bit of overlap I'm sure is fine. Rather overlap and catch it all than miss bits because this isn't an easy machine to... Uh, just cover off those small bits. This is looking pretty good. That little bit by the water tank and the generator there, we'll go back and uh, we'll just have to tidy up around that at the end, I think. Okay, all the niggly little edge bits are all sorted now. We've got ourselves some nice straight rows to run. Uh, I may skip the odd row, just because this is big, so I don't want to put pressure on myself on the turns, but... Um, we will uh, we will power through this now Axie Phantom guy, come on. Go ahead, mate. How's that anhydrous bar running? Hopelessly? Like a dream. Like a dream. Well, I am, uh, you do not know how pleased I am to hear that. Um, I'm just finishing up the last little bit of the lime in this field. I think I might go over to field 33 uh, and get that one lined so we can get it planted later on. Well, that sounds like a plan, mate. Yeah, I shouldn't be too long here, uh, making good progress now, so uh, we can either plant that or we can head back and plant uh, field 12 that you've just been in. Sounds good, mate. So you heard it there. Arx has already finished the big field 12, the big round field, so he's going to head off to field 33. Let's have a look where that is. Oh, it's the one that's over there. So that's a bit of a bit of a trek over there. Bit of a road trip. So, uh I wonder if we'll go and plant that one with him later. But for now, let's uh, let's push on. Let's get this done.
to say this has been uh, this has been great running this. A uh, bit of precision farming. Nice to see a nice big green field in the bottom corner there. Um, especially after last week's frustrations, we've got all the code sorted out in the map that allowed us to apply this. So that's great, and I'm loving these textures that Argus put in as well. Really nice, really nice. I might have to uh, grab these and drop these into a couple of my other maps because they are they are very nice indeed. Um, so, like I said just at the end of this row here we'll run this back and uh, we'll think about what we're going to do next so we will see you back at the farm right we'll just drop Args a quick radio message and see what he wants us to do next FSG to Argsy yeah go ahead mate um, okay I'm done up here mate in field 2 what do you want me to do grab one of the big air carts and head over to field 33 with you yeah, yeah, I've um, got one actually all filled up, full of sedum, full of anhydrous, all ready to go. So if you want to grab that and uh, come over and make the planting. Excellent. What seed are we running? What are we planting? Uh, what did I have written down for this? Trotter kale in this field. Excellent stuff. Right, I'll be over as soon as I can. See you soon. Oh, cause he's taken the liberty of getting something set up for us, which is incredibly helpful. Let's just make sure we avoid those signs there. Nicely done. Okay, let's get this down to the yard. And we'll grab the cedar. Right, here we are in Argsy's wash shed. Actually, the tractor's not too dirty. The tractor looks pretty good. It's the, it's the toolbar here that looks pretty messy. It won't take long to clean that. And then we will um, quickly run over to the uh, to the 9RX. Args, you found some guy, come in. Go ahead, Args. Sorry, I couldn't hear you over the noise of the pressure washer in the cleaning shed. I was just curious. I uh, was just taking a peek at the map and saw you might have been in there. I am well impressed. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Keep, keep up the good work. We'll see you down here soon. i to say the forward ag guys doing us proud with the big tanker it's hugely helpful to have that so actually I might drop this tanker here in fact I'm just gonna leave this here for now just for time we will jump into this right I've got to work out where I'm going okay I think I found myself a route the problem is this kit is so colossal in fact I'm gonna switch it to triticale now so I don't end up planting the wrong thing. There we go. Um, this thing is so colossal. Turning this or finding a route with this that isn't going to cause total carnage is going to be interesting. So let's give it a go. We've got cars coming as well and everything. Oh, he's gone the other way. That's pleasing. But I am actually going to have to hug the side of the road here to let this white car past. Past the side of the beet manufacturing point and the potato manufacturing point. Not sure yet whether or not we'll end up using that at some point. But what we'll do we'll head along here and then we'll head up a little bit to join Args. With three implements behind me. I don't think the thought of reversing this is uh, really an option. So again, I'm too far over at the moment. So we might have to just fix this little edge. But we'll run this first headland and we'll see how we go. But there we go. You can see in the corner there of the map we are getting anhydrous down. We have spotted a little bit of an issue with these outer wheels on uh, this. Only seems to be in multiplayer though. On uh, the single player they seem to be fine. But see how the wheels are sticking sideways? Well, um... Yeah, that doesn't doesn't seem to happen in single player. So, um, right, we'll push on. Uh, we better do a headland first. The most tricky bit of it, uh, probably a couple of rows up and down. It's just about enough space for a turning circle at the end, really. Which there doesn't look like there is. We've got a bit of a dip here, so we're going to have to be just a little bit clever about how we do this. Um, 
but we'll see how we get on. We're running at 10 miles an hour, which is nice. This 9RX literally is a, a beast. A beast with the big weights on the back as well. Holding everything down. 3D tracks as well, beautiful. Lovely noise coming off the cedar as well, very authentic. What's not to love? What is not to love? I'll be catching args at this rate. Okay, there's Arcs just back with the lime. Uh, I s he spent the whole day in that lime spreader. I'm just going to think I'll drop him a note and see if he wants to do a bit of seeding. And uh, I'll finish off this uh, lime field for him. Just for something else to do. Let's see what he wants to do. FSG to Arcs. You go ahead, mate. Just wondering if you want to swap, mate. You spent a lot of time in that uh, lime spreader today. Do you want to... You want to haul this big rig? Oh yeah, yeah we could do that. There's not too much here left for you to do, so... So we've just swapped here. Oh, I'm just going to run off with this now. There he goes. That kit is so, so good, by the way. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. I'm going to get into Old Faithful over here with her dodgy brakes. <laughs> And get some lime spread. Okay, there we go. Liming all done. I'll get this folded up. Also fold the trailer up. And get that over as well. We're going to run these back to the farm now. And the arcs finish up here. Don't know where he's gone, but he's in here somewhere. Oh, he's far distance. I'll just let him know we're all done here and we'll... Uh, Head back to the farm. I'll just check what he wants us to put in the next uh, in the next field as well. FSG to Args. Here you go, head back. That's me all done here, mate. Um, what was it? Field twelve and uh, sorghum. That was the plan. Field twelve and sorghum. On it. Thanks, mate. Cool, mate. That plant is all ready to go for you when you get back. Thank you very much. No worries. Okay, there we go. All we've got to do is run this kit back. Once again, I'm here doing my duty. Promise is a promise. We'll get this sorted and... Uh, and we'll go and get the truck as well. We'll bring that back. And then we'll go and start on field 12. Args has uh, been very kind and set it all up for us again. Okay, here we are just about at field 12 I think we can head through the dairy yard now like I said earlier on rather than going right around the field it's whether or not I can make a turn I might actually have to turn into this green space on the right here to straighten myself up to get through the gate let's let's have a look at this gate see how uh, wide it is I'm not convinced I am not convinced in fact there's no way I'm getting through that I'm gonna have to go for the double gates further along right let's get unfolded Args gave me a tip he said split the field in two by basically running up one side from here and then coming back for the other side and boom is not centered could do with being reversed a little bit but I do love look 
Another brilliant texture that Argus has found. Look at this planting texture. That's lovely. That is lovely. And there we go. The anhydrous going in as well. Check the bottom corner there. As you can see. Looking good. So we'll uh, crack on. This will not take as long at all, I think. Argus is going to be... Uh, Argus is going to be back by the time uh, we're halfway through this, if not before. Argus, did it your face, G, come in. Go ahead, Argus. Uh, so, do you just want me to start on this other side of the field? You can do that half? Yeah, you can do. I've sorted out around the pivot, so it should be quite a clean run for you. Perfect. All right. We're uh, cracking to it and get this done pretty quick, eh? Sounds good, mate. go last pass it's just gonna have leave that tiny little bit isn't it typical but there we go uh, last pass on this half Args is still running over there he's gonna finish his half off as well and I think we're gonna call it there for this episode oh look at that the tiny sliver actually that's so small I'm just gonna leave it I thought it was gonna be bigger than that I can live with that um, well I think it's safe to say Tex West Texas Episode 2 has been a lot more successful than West Texas Episode 1 was. Um, things have run incredibly smoothly today. We've got a lot of work done. Args is in a better mood. I cleaned some equipment. What's not to love? What I'm going to do is run over here and have a quick chat with Args. And we'll call it there. Well, Args, I think we can safely say that was a more successful day than the last one. Yeah, we uh, nothing went wrong. We got through a lot of stuff as well. We have. We've, uh, I was saying before, we've probably almost got half our ground planted already, which is uh, which is good. No, it definitely sets us up for the next episode very nicely. It does it indeed. Thank you all uh, for your help. It's uh, much appreciated as always. Anytime, mate. Thoroughly enjoyed it. All right, now uh, if you can get that tractor back and clean for me, that will be good. Yes, sir. Will do. So there we go, folks. Um, like we said a really enjoyable successful episode that one so we will um, head back to the farm now and we'll call it there for this episode thank you very much for watching uh, this has been West Texas I've been the farm sim guy that's been Args and uh, we'll see you all again very soon bye for now <laughs>